The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, when Mr. George was here last in front of this committee, I said uh, it's an outrage if this is true. And I want to say I took a lot of heat from folks back home because uh, I was implying that perhaps what you said in your report wasn't the complete story. And I just want to go back to that because I'd hate to imply something that isn't true. Mr. George, in the committee hearing on May 22, 2013, the chairman asked you some clarifying questions to my line of questioning. I'd like to ask you some clarifying questions about those clarifying questions. To refresh your memory, uh, here's what you, what you said. Um, it says, Chair, uh, Chairman Issa said, were there any bolos issued for progressive groups, liberal groups? Mr. George, the only be on the lookout that is bolo used to refer cases for political review were the ones that we described within our report. There were other bolos used for other purposes. For example, there were lookouts for indicators of known fraud schemes so that they could be referred to the group that handles those issues for nationwide organizations. There were notes to refer state and local chapters to the same reviewers. As we continue our review of this matter, we have recently identified some other bolos that raise concerns about political factors. I can't get into more detail at this time as to the information that there is because it's still incomplete that we've uncovered, rather because it's still in incomplete. Chairman Isis said, so clearly it's fair to say, though, there was a bolo for Tea Party, but not a bolo for Move On or Progressive. Mr. George, you said, I'm not in a position to give you a definitive response on that question at this time. Chairman Issa said, I only ask if there's at least one. Are you aware of at least one that was targeted, targeted using a bolo that was a 501c4 in which they were targeted politically but did not fall into this current report we have before us? Mr. George, you said, under the report, the review, the purposes of the audit that we conducted, which was to determine whether they were looked at for in the context of political campaign intervention, there were no others. And the chairman said, thank you. So to be clear, Mr. George, first you said the only, only bolos used to refer cases for political review were the ones described within the report. Then you immediately say there were other bolos used to refer cases for political review that were outside your report. Then after Chairman Issa pressed you, and I want to thank Chairman Issa for pressing you so hard on this issue, by asking if there was even one group that was flagged with a bolo for political reasons but wasn't included in the report, and you said there were no others. Have I read that correctly? Uh, you read it correctly, but I mean, I, so I just want to give you the benefit of the doubt here and allow you to explain yourself, Mr. George. Was it true when you said that the only bolos used to refer cases for, for political review were the ones described within the report? That is correct, sir. Congressman, that's in the document that he submitted for the record. Those are the bolos we were given by the IRS May 17, 2012, that show for political advocacy cases what the bolos were. Sir, you were not here during the part of my testimony which indicated that as recently as last week, the Internal Revenue Service is still providing us information that would have had a direct bearing on this testimony and on our audit report. Let's go at it this way, Mr. George. As of today, are you aware that there were bolos out about progressive or liberal groups? There were bolos. And when did you first find out? When on which ones? I'm asking it, Mr. George, when did you first find out there were bolos about liberal or progressive it groups? It was the night before I was testifying before the Senate Finance Committee at around 6.30 p.m. And, and was that before your testimony here on May 22nd? That was before, yes. So was. you were here on May 22nd testifying about bolos about Tea Party groups. Uh. And when Mr. Issa questioned you specifically about other groups, you said there were no others. Well, but you didn't say a word about bolos that you knew were about progressive or liberal organizations, even though you just admitted today yeah. that you were aware of that on, as of your May 22nd testimony. Sir, I, Am I, I correct in I, that, I, Mr. George? I need to clarify something. One, it was on the, the bolo uh, group name 
was on Occupy, and I can use that word because it's generic. We had no information whatsoever how, if, if at all, that information was used or misused. Doesn't matter. You knew there were bolos about Occupy. We, you but, didn't say a word about it in your last testimony here yeah. in, in this committee, May 22nd. Yeah. You knew people's heads would explode if you talk about sure. Tea Party bolos, right. and you didn't mention any other ones. Sir, what do you think we're doing here? Sir, if you uh, look at page 6, footnote 16 of my audit report, it acknowledges the existence of other bolos and the fact that we did not, the charge of that audit was not on how they were utilized. You okay. knew there were bolos about liberal groups. The gentleman's time has expired. I'll, I'll uh, yield back.